Hi guys, here's our next little video. We've had a couple of people say that the buffs that they've bought are too loose and they're falling down or um, they're not quite working as they'd hoped. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I tie knots in my buffs to actually make them a nice secure fit. Um, the joy of it is that, and because they're so stretchy, that you can actually manipulate them quite a bit so that they fit you properly. Um, so one of the ways is to basically, on the crease line, okay, is take one end and one end, and you can just tie two knots in there. And then you've still got your tube through there, but it's a little bit firmer in some parts and then you can just tuck that in. Um, the second way that I often do it and is actually the most common way for me to tie a knot in my buff um, is actually a slip knot because then you can adjust it as needed really really easy and it's quite easy to undo it then. So all I do is stick in there, twist it and tuck one end through and there you go. There's your slip knot, okay? So you can just have that bit sitting at the back. So I'll often wear the as a headband, especially when I'm running on the treadmill and I'm not wearing a hat, and that's how I tie it so that on the go, if I find it loosens off, I can actually tighten it up again. Um, so that's it. The other alternative, if you are trying to use these as a face covering, okay, the, the buff face masks that are brand new are the same fabric as the Cool Net Buffs. Um, but they've got a filter layer in them, so they're a lot more protective. And they also have two adjustment points on them. Um, so they've got an elastic strap that actually goes up over the crown of your head and around the back of your neck. So it's just another alternative if you're finding that you can't get these guys to fit you properly. But yeah, until next time, stay safe and I'll chat to you soon. Bye!